Hi there. In this quick video, I'm going to attempt to fix this Silvercrest uh, electric thermostat. It's actually an electric thermostat for uh, a radiator, so it can uh, open and close the water flow depending on the temperature that you set. This one, uh, I think something failed in it mechanically. Actually, I'm quite sure it's mechanically, not, not electrically, because it doesn't find anymore its end. So uh, when it tries either to close fully or to open fully, although I think close fully more likely, it goes up to the end and it should encounter resistance and stop. Probably it has a way of sensing how much the motor is, uh, is drawing, how much current, and when it's above a limit it says, okay, it's locked and I need to stop. Well, something happens, it goes, it goes, almost stops and then a pop, and starts going again, then again, almost stops, then a pop, and again. So I think something mechanically, either a gear or something, is damaged in there that it's not holding uh, its proper uh, end of this uh, or maybe this when is fully uh, extended it can start to bend what i can say i will open it and see if i can find anything wrong inside of it and uh, be able to fix something if not well it is what it is but at the moment honestly truth be told I've got no freaking clue how to open this thing up. I was expecting to see some screws or something under this. They are not there. So what I think this end will actually come out. That's my first impression. I see a clip in there and that clip seems to be for this. So let me try to use this. Yeah. The end seems to be moving, although this is not narrow enough. Yep, the end is actually coming out. Obviously, I don't have access on the other side. So maybe if I insist and push it out with something. Uh, that's not ideal, is it? Oh, okay. So it went out. And now, just go around it. For sure this has many more clips all around but I have no clue where they are and how they work. Mm. Okay, got one of them out also. Another one was probably, I will show them to you in a moment. So these are the clips. This is more centering pin and two clips on this side and one uh, at the bottom. Okay, and we have reached some screws deep in there. Let's see. So be back after I untighten them. Untightened the screws and it seems this just slides out of here. And it's only the button itself. So now let me unlock this flex cable. Lift the black lip. That's the lock mechanism. And now we can get it out. And it's out. So we can put this away. That is not our issue. And we have now... Hmm. I don't even know exactly what level to go in. Oh, and this is soldered. Oh, damn it. Why did they solder it? Just to make everything even harder. I need to unsolder it. So be back in a moment. Well, that didn't work because it's everything together so I still need to undo those right next to the motor and these seem to be longer and a bit more stubborn compared to the other ones yeah they are clearly much longer be careful if you did it in the order that I'm doing it because now I'm actually 
pressing against the PCB, which is obviously kind of dumb. But it is what it is. First impression, gears look fine. So, uh, yeah. Still cannot get this damn thing out. Oh, are you kidding me? Is this meant to be opened up only if I remove this? Oh, damn it. But I think I can still handle it by working in here over that PCB, although I don't like that at all, honestly. Maybe I should also get the PCB out, shouldn't I? This is uh, ending up way more involved than I initially uh, anticipated. And I really don't like that. It's never easy, is it? Do not mix the screws, most likely they are completely different, so they will not get together well if you put them in the wrong places. I was honestly expecting this PCB just to slide out, but it's not sliding out. Why is it not sliding out? Does it have some clips anywhere? Oh, damn it. I don't get this. I hope I'm, I don't need to pull this whole thing out for the PCB to release. Because maybe it needs to be lifted or who knows what the hell they... They, they thought about it. Oh, god damn it. Yeah, as you could see, I lifted uh, one of its corners and now it's out. Ah, I needed to get the buttons out. That was our issue. The buttons were not allowing us to do this. Well, at least now can we see what's inside? The buttons are really nice, are the metal type. The centering pins are a bit stubborn and I don't want to break them. Or is it something else that's holding me back? Yikes, oh, it was uh, the contact for the display. No problem, that will work when we put it back together. So overall, nice construction, quite clean work. This is not, not bad. This is nice for a product. I like what I see here, but our trouble seems to be with the mechanics, which I cannot really easily get to because they made it this mm -hmm. awkward construction. But truth be told, they probably never thought about somebody getting uh, into this so they did not think this could cause problems for us hmm you see that ramp right there that is clearly some limiter and if I look on the ramp on this let me try and get some more light in here. Uh, really hard for you to see. But I do see a bit of wear and tear on it. So who knows? Wife interrupting as always. <laughs> more gears. don't see any real real damage a bit of wear and tear but not real damage on anything so what's happening actually in here hmm. 
nah, there was no not enough damage on that too. It was just a bit of of plastic, but not enough damage to actually cause anything. Wait a second. This shouldn't have come off like that. This is broken. <laughs> you see this? This is ripped all around. That's what's happening. So this is meant to to actually retract because this is why this is longer. It travels on it like that. This is fixed. This travels. But uh, probably when it was uh, either pushing or retracting, this broke off. And every single time it was going, 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 then eh, this managed to slip a bit. This was again compensating this, boop, slipping a bit. So this is what happened. This is fully ripped all around. What? How the hell do I fix that? Hmm. Okay. Hmm. I don't think I can fix this without uh, removing this stupid thing from the end of it. So I need to compress the plastic. And to do that, I need a bunch of uh, flat heads. Great, that one fell. Ah, anyway, mm, went a bit easier than expected. After I managed to get four of them out of the way, I could actually pry on it on one side and it started to go like this. So, okay. I guess there's that. Now let me see how do I fix this and how do I put everything back together. This is going to be really fun and I need to glue it obviously, but I need to reinforce it. Only gluing it will just work until the first time this uh, tries to actually do something and then it will uh, break once again. So strong reinforcement is necessary. Found its proper position where it sits best uh, in place. I'm just going to use some super glue, glue it in there. But obviously this will not be enough, so after it dries I will continue to reinforce it somehow. Put a lot of gel super glue around. This is still no way near enough to hold this in place. It's mostly just a base for what will come after it. Uh, I don't know, some filling glue. Um, I will see, I will see. Also I will need to drill some holes through the plastic to make everything somehow work together and not be able to tear apart. I have no clue, I'm going to try if it works well, if not, salvage some parts and be done with it. Okay, what I'm going to do now might seem a little bit dumb to you and it probably actually is. I'm going to uh, the initial super glue has dried but this is not enough to hold this together, it will break again. Uh, now I want to drill some holes in a few areas on this from one side to the other and then I will put uh, some uh, two, two component, B component glue on this side, allow it to go in this also a little bit through the holes and then on the other side I will also put glue which will bond through the holes with the one on this side. So. The glue will be holding from both sides and will also be holding from these things. So it will not allow this to rip in this direction. Probably I will also drill one, uh, two holes in this area and also make sure the glue goes through those holes. So it will also grip like this and not allow it to rip out. Doing what I can with the available space, trying to make sure I don't uh, interfere with anything and uh, not allow this to function anymore. If I can do it, it's great. If not, it is what it is. But like it is now, it will just break again. Because that's the weakest area. We need to make uh, sure that uh, we get rid of the weakest area. At this point in time, I just want to mention, I tried to think about how everything works in here. What's the purpose of every single thing inside this? Hopefully I got it right. In theory, what I'm doing should not affect uh, the way it works. But the reality of it is that I might get it wrong. So anyway, this is what I'm going to use. Uh, it's a two component kind of uh, glue. 
think I did not even open this up. So next step will be to cut it. Start mixing uh, what's in there. A tiny bit of it, obviously. Hopefully it's not dried up. No, it's not. And uh, fill this where I think it should be filled. Let it uh, get strong and not uh, not dry. I don't know. Uh, get <laughs> to its uh, final strength in a few days, most likely. Probably 24 hours should be enough, but I will let it a bit more. Put everything together and hope for the best. That's all that I can do now, honestly. This will be like uh, like a kind of party, honestly, when it's mixed uh, until it begins to dry. So it will be nice to, to fill in there. I screwed this up a little bit. I screwed this up a little bit. I forgot how quickly this dries up or hardens basically when it's the proper deal from the proper company. I mean, this thing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, I used from another company and it was way slower to work and not as good, uh, but this is the proper deal and uh, I mixed too much. I should have made two separate batches. I spent too much time on this side, honestly, and um, yeah, it is what it is. On this side, I wasn't able to properly, nicely put it together, but still, it's in the holes, so it shouldn't be able to come towards us. Uh, I'm not sure I have enough room in here for uh, this thingy to go properly in place. Hopefully, I do. I will see now. I don't seem to have. It's grabbing onto something. Maybe I can make a channel for itself now. Oh, it worked. So I think it's actually, and it stopped with this right there. So let me see what does that mean. If it stopped with that right there, did it go up to the end and actually work as it should? I can tell you that in a moment if I get it out of here. Yeah, they are uh, on opposite side and it stopped like that. So it actually went up to the stop, which is perfect. Okay, seems to be working normally. But uh, yeah, it doesn't look the best. But as long as it works, I don't really care how it looks, do I? In theory, it shouldn't be able to break again. It actually has three pillars from one side to the other pillars uh, going to the sides, not allowing all of this to come towards us. But in reality, do we know that it will work? Nope, we do not. We'll see. I will give it maybe 48 hours to dry up and then we will try it and hope for the best. If not, it is what it is. I at least tried. Okay, this is where I took it from and for a few months I used one of these mechanical thingies. Uh, now I'm just testing to make sure that what I put in there doesn't interfere and it does not. So this goes all the way in, which is perfect. Still a tiny gap in there. The pin is right there in the middle. So yeah, I can put it together and uh, go from there. And now let's start putting this thing back together with some grease that works on plastics. Spread it all around in there on uh, areas that might get some sort of friction. And uh, yeah, obviously we will not be able to properly test this uh, in the summer. So for that it will take a bit of time. As always, ask me in the comments how this is over the years, basically it's it's that simple, nothing more, nothing less, nothing that I can do. It's just not the not the season for uh, for this to work really. 
Next step, obviously put this thing in its place again with grease on it. It slides in a hole down there. So the first level is ready and obviously these two are working together right here. So that's perfect. Uh, let's see what next. I think this is next most likely. Yep. And uh, I'm going to put uh, even more grease on uh, all contact points and all of these little cogs that touch each other. Yeah, did not put that little wheel, let it stay there, it, it keeps falling otherwise. Grease here, grease on that one. Uh, maybe some grease on this. I'm not really sure how this is used and what it does, but yeah, hell of it. And now put this thing back together like that. Okay, perfect. This we already know it kind of goes in like uh, that in a hole right there. But even more grease. Okay, and now they are all turning in there, which is perfect, exactly what we want. Are we coming with the next level? I think so. Yeah, so in this and this, those things will go in. This one is for that and uh, we are kind of done. So what I need to do in here, just make sure all of these little cogs have a tiny bit of grease on them before we close everything back up. At this point, I think it's uh, coming together, hopefully the right way. Everything should be able to slowly lock into place and be happy. And now we can put the two big screws uh, on both sides and obviously tighten them uh, off camera. Next step, should I put in the PCB and then this thingy? Hmm. Let me try and put in the PCB first. <coughs> if I wouldn't drop it, damn it. Hopefully it will still work. Okay. As long as there's no grease or anything on the contacts for the display, we should have no issues with it. In theory, we'll see in real life. So what I need to make sure is that this thing goes in properly and nothing moves out of its location while I'm sliding it in here and making sure the buttons go through, which isn't easy, is it? Not easy at all. Pesky buttons. <laughs> That's damn stupid. Great. Freaking. What the? That's uh, kind of a stupid design. Hopefully I didn't rip any uh, components of this board. That's a freaking stupid design. So it kind of needs to come sliding no it doesn't want to freaking slide what the f maybe at an angle for sure they have a proper way of doing this in production but obviously i do not know what what uh, that way is so i'm just if you can do not freaking remove this unless you really have to because as you can see uh, it's a pain in the behind to put back i 
I literally don't know how to put this back. Okay, one side is in, but what about the other one? Is hitting directly the plastic right there. That's freaking stupid. Oh, gee, Jesus, it literally went in almost by itself when everything was aligned. Okay, I guess we are good. Hopefully components are also good. Now I, I need two tiny little screws and I do not freaking remember which are those. Because in here I have three. These are the four from this thing, so those are clearly not them. I have four big ones, those are again not them. So in theory... Ah, three! Because it, there's also one here. Okay, so we actually have three screws. That's okay, I guess. So let me put uh, those three screws, one, two, and three. Pesky screws are in. Now hopefully I can slide this over the PCB, get it through that hole and it will rest in place and now I can install the remaining four screws on the corners. Solder to the wires back in place. Negative to negative, positive to positive. Yes, both of these pads are positive and uh, here there were two negative, they were actually joined when I opened it up, so I left them joined, doesn't matter. Uh, now, in theory, I connect this in here and put this thingy back in there and put its four screws in. So, uh, yeah, let's see how that goes. Maybe I didn't put my wires in the best possible uh, place, but uh, doesn't matter. Uh, this is going to be a pain, isn't it? I hate flex cables. Need to make sure it's fully inserted in there before uh, closing the latch on it. Really, really freaking hard to show you. Let me try and bring more light. Maybe now you can so somehow see. Yeah, and it's in, wiggle it in place. And I think it's fully in. And now somehow hold it. Hold it in there. And kind of at the same time lock it in place. And it's locked. So in theory now everything is uh, connected together and I think I wonder was this actually rotated? Most likely it was rotated because I don't really see any other way. Yeah probably it was just rotated and uh, Slide this thing in. I'm not sure if this went under or over or... No, I think it went under. Yeah, it went under. It's fully in. Now put the four screws back in there. Next step. Uh, next step. Put this thing back in place. Just make sure you see where uh, everything latches, so this one latches in there, this is the centering from there, and these two latch in there at the bottom. Either is in or it's broken, but from the feeling I think yeah, it's in. Did not break you, we can see it in there. So it was lucky it escape, escaped. Now let me put its batteries back in and see if it goes through the motions. I will also install it back, but up until the spring when uh, cold weather comes back in, 
uh, we will not know if uh, this will last for a long time or work for a week and then break again. But for the moment seems to be fully functioning. You can see it already rotating in there. So it's doing its thing. I need to do its setup. Main video will be in the description where I show how to do all of these stupid things. Be back when I finish. It's going through its motions, goes to the minimum and then goes to the maximum. I'm going to stop it because it's trying to do the adaptation. I will not allow it to do the adaptation, so I will not leave the batteries in it until spring because I want this to fully cure. You can just see it's going above the level and it's going a bit harder when it's above, but still going, so it's working. But I... Oh, I... I was thinking I won't, don't really want to leave it reach its end. I was afraid it will crack or something, but no sounds, no cracking. It survived. <laughs> so now it's pulling it back. And I have no freaking clue what... Ah, did I freaking manage to move the battery enough for this to reset? Might have. Yeah, damn it. Oh, Jesus, that's freaking stupid. Stupid of me, honestly. So I'm just setting the time. And it's pulling back. And I think that's about it. So yeah, at least first uh, trial, nothing cracked. But obviously when it will be used on the radi radiator we will know the the full uh, full extent of how this is working and uh, if everything is okay. But for that ask me in the comments over the years. Hopefully we fixed it and hopefully others don't break like this. In case they do I think we have a fix. And that's about it for this video. Uh, this thingy to put it back in. <coughs> my bed. Ooh, you know what? I was under the impression that it's gonna be easier to put this back in. Ah. Yikes. Not extremely easy, not extremely hard. So manageable. And it's in. Now I can put it on that radiator and actually pull out the batteries. I don't want it to do the adaptation by pushing as hard as it can in that radiator. I I don't feel this is fully, fully cured. So I don't use it until spring. Why would I uh, actually risk it to destroy it before everything is fully, fully cured? But in theory it is. This, this is all that I can do with this metal pick. It's, yeah, I can chip away at it really really freaking slowly but it's strong but could be even stronger maybe after a few months so why risk it i would get highly annoyed if anything would fail uh, just because i didn't want to wait a little bit more so yeah that's about it for uh, for this video hope it helps you uh in which case, please give it a like, check out my other videos, and as always, see you in the next one. Bye.